Hello, welcome to Kotlin Bytes. This is the first video in a series of short videos explaining how to use Kotlin from the beginning to something a little bit more advanced. And so in this video, we're going to set up the IDE, or the Integrated Development Environment. So to begin, let's open up your web browser. I want to go to the Kotlin website. And on here, they explain, of course, what Kotlin is and why you should use Kotlin. But at the very bottom, they also recommend tools to develop Kotlin with. Kotlin is developed by a company called JetBrains. JetBrains also creates this IDE called IntelliJ IDEA, as well as Android Studio is built upon IDEA. Um, but it makes sense for us to use IntelliJ IDEA since they also create the language. So if you press the download button, it'll take you to their download page. I'm currently on a PC. However, they also support Mac and Linux, which is awesome. Uh, you'll notice that there's both an ultimate and, and a community version. Uh, the community version is way more than what we need, so that's all that you need to download. The ultimate version is only really needed if you're uh, a web developer or you're in an enterprise environment, and even then, the community version might be good enough for you. So if you download it, it'll begin the download process. Now, I already have this installed. So, but once it's downloaded, install it, follow the wizard, and once you've done that, we'll open it up. This is the welcome screen. To create a new project, just click on the Create New Project button. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to set up your project. I like to use Gradle, so that's what we're going to be using today. So select Gradle, and then Kotlin JVM. JVM is for the Java Virtual Machine. And then we have to fill in a group ID and an artifact ID. The group ID is going to be usually just your website domain in reverse. It's your unique identifier. So we'll say com that Kotlin bytes. And the artifact ID, Kotlin hello world. Version we can keep that the same for now. Next. And you can change the project name if you'd like. I'll keep it the same. Finish. So every time you open up IntelliJ IDEA, you'll receive this tip of the day. I like to enable it or just keep it enabled. You could disable it, but uh, it's nice to just look at a random tip of the day. Uh, and whenever there's new, new features that are added to this IDE, those tips will appear here on how to utilize those features. Alrighty, so once it's set up, uh, we'll see that we have this source directory that's been automatically generated for us. So let's open up our main folder. You'll see that we have two folders here, Java and Kotlin. Uh, we're going to create a new file. It doesn't matter which folder we place it into, actually. Uh, but because we are developing Kotlin, we might as well just place it in the Kotlin folder. So right-click, create a new Kotlin file. Create a new file called main. So just like in Java, the entry point to an application is usually the main class or the main function. And so we're going to create a new function called main. So let me zoom in here. Okay. So in Kotlin, to create a function, you type fun, shorter function, uh, and then main. And then two parentheses. IntelliJ IDEA is smart enough to recognize that this is the entry point to our application because we called this main. So a little play button is automatically created for us right next to it. And for this application, we're going to spit out the words, hello world. To do so, we type print, print ln, and in double quotes, hello world. We'll be excited. There we go. Okay. And to execute this, you press the play button and just the first option is fine. Run main KT. It'll take a second to compile and then it'll execute. And that's our output. Hello world. So there you go. That's an introduction to setting up Kotlin and a very simple hello world application. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.